Hey guys, it's Chris. From mansions with dubious pasts to ones that are way too expensive, join me as I reveal nine famous mansions no one wants to buy. Number 9. The Watcher Mansion There is a small twist in the tale of the Watcher Mansion, and that's because as of July 2019, the mansion was indeed sold. But there was a reason, and may still be a reason, why no one would buy it beforehand, and why it may go up for sale once again soon. The house itself is in Westfield, New Jersey, and in 2014, it was bought by Derek and Maria Bradas. When they got the house, however, they got a letter from the Watcher. 657 Boulevard has been the subject of my family for decades now, and as it approaches its 110th birthday, I've been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming, the first letter read. As shared in a report in New York Magazine, my grandfather watched this house in the 1920s, and my father watched in the 1960s, and now it's my time. More letters came, including ones talking about the children the two had. Because of this, they never officially moved into the house. Instead, they put it back up on the market. But by that time, the story of the Watcher had already gone viral in the media. And to this day, no one knows who the Watcher was. And it's possible they may come back for the new owners. Only time will tell. Number 8. The Halston Party Penthouse There are many things that can drive away a person who might want to buy a house or mansion. And for one now infamous penthouse mansion known as the Halston Party Penthouse, that would be because of the designer and former owner of the space, Roy Halston Frowick. This penthouse was built in 1974 in Manhattan, New York by Frowick, who went by Halston solely when designing. And it was made to represent all the different styles of the time, including some not so nice styles that would happen at parties there. Some even said the trashier you looked, the more things you could get at his parties. It was also a big space for the stars of the nearby Studio 54 to come and have fun in, which would lead to the death of Halston via AIDS. The apartment sold to a friend of his until 2011, when the penthouse mansion was put up for sale at $38.5 million. It now sits at $24 million, and anyone who wants to take the place is asking for a much lower price, likely because they know exactly what Halston had done at parties here, and they don't want to have it as it stands now. Number 7. Charming Forge Mansion What is known as the Charming Forge Mansion was built all the way back in 1749, and it was then restored in full in 1994 to a mansion that has seven bedrooms, seven fireplaces, a carriage barn, and separate guest house made of stone. What's more, this house sits on 48 acres of land, allowing anyone who would buy it to have a large living space with privacy all around you. Which begs the question, why is this mansion up for sale? and yet no one is daring to buy it. That would be because the mansion is believed to be haunted. Haunted by whom? Henry William Steigel, the mansion's first owner. Many who have gone to the mansion have stated that they've seen him and other people roaming the halls, sometimes with their heads cut off. There's even a tale that in the top bedroom of the mansion, there's a girl crying, but for what reason is unknown. The mansion is currently selling for $650,000 but it's agreed that it should be worth much more than that. And now for number six, but first, be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number six, the Stone Sanctuary. Price is a big issue when it comes to buying a house, but another is look, which is a big problem for the place known as the Stone Sanctuary. The property is built on one owned by the Frick family, who were wealthy because of their steel business. But the house itself is made of stone, in such a way that it kind of looks like an ancient castle. Not to mention that the layout of the mansion isn't one that is standard in most people's eyes. On one hand, it does have many modern amenities. It's got a pool and a tennis court and a massive garage which many people will find attractive in some form. However, if you're looking for a more simple kind of mansion, this isn't one you'll want. The $40 million price tag doesn't help either with selling the property, and as a result, the sanctuary has been deserted for over nine years. Number 5. S.K. Pierce Mansion The S.K. Pierce Mansion is a place that on the surface seems like a good buy. However, as many potential buyers and owners have found out, the place may be haunted and thus has remained unsold. The house itself can be found in New England, Massachusetts, and its price is only $329,000. You might think this is expensive for a mansion, but given that it's got 10 plus rooms, 
three bathrooms and more, it's dirt cheap for a mansion of its caliber. But because it's considered one of the most haunted places in New England, it's not listed as a desirable place to live. Why is it haunted? It may have to do with the fact that since 1875, when the mansion was built, seven people were killed in the house including a few confirmed murders. But just as good is that the apparent spirits of these people are said to roam the halls and rooms of this mansion, even speaking to one another and creating whispers that cause some of the owners to leave the house in terror. As this grew over time, people have said to have seen fallen servants, children, and more roaming through the place even though none live there anymore. This place is so haunted that it's been featured in many paranormal TV series. Number 4. Palazzo di Amor Beverly Hills has a reputation for being one of the most elite areas of the United States, so getting the chance to live there is a dream come true for many, except for the fact that living there can be very expensive, which is proven in bulk via this infamous mansion called Palazzo di Amor. This particular mansion has been taken on and off the listings chart for many years because it's way too expensive for anyone to buy. Even some of the elite shudder at the mansion's price. And how much do they want? $129 million. You could buy several major mansions for that amount of money and still have money left to spare. Number 3. The Lewis Mansion There was a mansion on a street called Pleasant Avenue that had all the makings of a great home. But because of various deals, no one would buy it. And as a result, it's now gone, losing a lot of history in the process. The mansion itself was found in Bayside, Long Island. And what may shock you is that the mansion was only $10 in price. Usually such a thing would be a scam or a con job or something terrible like a haunting occurring in the place. But that was not the case with the former Lewis Mansion. Rather, it was the case of a land deal creating an unfavorable situation to anyone who bought the house. You see, this house used to be owned by a famous athlete turned FBI agent Aubrey Lewis. When he passed, the country bought the house so they could do some expansion by tearing it down and making eight new houses in the area. But a historical society stepped in and made them promise to keep the house. They agreed to the terms, which in lies the problem. Because that deal was made, another deal was made for the land, so that whoever truly owns the house is required to move the whole house off the property, because technically they don't own it. Fast forward to 2018, many years after the deal was put into place, and the mansion remained unsold due to the catch of moving the property. Thus, it was torn down, and a new place is being built in its stead. Number 2. Granite Loma you rarely hear the phrase log cabin mansion in the world today, and yet in Michigan on Lake Superior lies Granite Loma, which is indeed a log cabin mansion. You'll find that this place has 5,000 acres of woodland covered in trees. It spans around 26,000 square feet and has 23 bedrooms, four apartments in an outbuilding, a huge hot tub, and a private backwater marina as well. Clearly a place designed for the elite. In this case, the co-founder of General Motors. It stands today as the biggest log cabin in the United States, yet it remains unsold. Part of the reason for this is that when it was put in listings in 2015, it was listed for $40 million, which is a steep amount for the place, no matter the amenities. As of now, the owner has slashed the price to $20 million, which is better, but it's still very steep. The other reason why the mansion is unsold may be that it's very remote, so remote that it's basically out of the way of modern life. Add that to the age of the place, and most people likely think a more modern style mansion that is much cheaper is better suited to them. Number 1. Winchester Mansion This is a story about a man named Winchester. His first name was William, and he was the creator of one of the most legendary rifles in the history of the world, the Winchester Rifle. This was the gun that helped tame the Wild West and helped bring a new age of rifle that could be felt in impact for generations to come. Williams had a wife, Sarah, who felt very differently about the guns that her husband was selling. You see, she was told by a fortune teller that the guns that her husband was making and getting a fortune from were going to curse her, mainly by having her haunted by the spirits of people that were being killed by them. Afraid for her life, Sarah decided to build an overly elaborate mansion in San Jose, California, one that would have thousands of windows, doors, and hundreds of rooms, all with the purpose of keeping her away from the spirits that were haunting her. This house was built for many years, and Sarah died soon after it was completed. Technically, the house is owned by someone, but not to live in. Rather, it's used as a tourist destination so that people can see firsthand how far Sarah went to keep her location a secret from ghosts. Some feel it's still haunted by these spirits. 
so it's not likely that a person would live in the place anymore between the potential haunting and the insane layout of the home. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these mansions no one wants to buy? Can you believe some of the things associated with these mansions? Would you want to pay any of these prices for them? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to WorldList, and I'll see you next time.